definitely maybe had been, you know, critically sort of, you know, lauded. I mean, you know, the, the greatest the, the, album the, of all time, I think, fine. <laughs> Key Magazine, man. 2006. <laughs> But um, you know what kind of sort of memories the mood of the band sort of prior going into the studio to do uh, to do what's the story? Uh, well, you're cut. you we we were we were constantly on tour. We were never at home. I was living in the Landmark Hotel. I didn't. I was of no fixed abode. I fucking loved it. I thought it was fucking so bohemian. Do you know what I mean? Where do you live? I don't live anywhere. You know, I live out of my suitcase, man. And um, we were just on the road all the time. So it come to. You know, we were going to follow up definitely, maybe, very quickly. This would never happen now in uh, in my career. All right, this would it's such a fucking tightrope to walk and such a punk rock way of doing it. The studio was booked. We're leaving. We're leaving. Um, we're coming back from Germany or somewhere. We're booked to headline Glastonbury on June the twenty fifth. The first night, I think it is. So we've got four weeks booked in Rockfield. So we're travelling to the studio. No one's heard any of the songs, right? There's no demos. No one's heard them. The producer's not heard them. The band have not fucking heard them, right? I've written... I, I, I know what they are, but there's no lyrics on this. This all in my head. And if you think about it now, right, it's kind of... I was fucking bananas, you know? Now you'd have to, you know... Demo six months up front and everybody, well, I don't know about that one, that could be a single, this one could be a single. No one had heard a fucking crotchet. No one from creation, well, no one. Right? The only person that knew how it was going to be was me. And, of course, I was super confident. I was just going, it'll be all, it'll be all right. And uh, something happened on the way back where we, the, bu the I think the bus driver had to take a break or something. So we pulled up in a lay-by and I played him the whole album. Champagne Supernova included on an acoustic guitar, but I started crying. Uh, soppy. And um, everyone was like, it doesn't really come across on acoustic guitar. And we had a new drummer. We were headlining Glastonbury in four weeks. It was fucking chaos. 